and be parrot. Um, but maybe there's more to it than that. Maybe he has a secret life of dogs that we just don't know that exists. Hey everyone, welcome to Neuropod, a channel about all things related to the Elon Musk company Neuralink. My name is Ryan Tanaka, and in this update episode, we'll cover the latest comment from Elon Musk on timing for Neuralink's FDA human trials. We'll briefly discuss Facebook's pending pivot to focus more on virtual reality and their rumored name change. We'll share an update highlighting Neuralink's key open roles, and then Neuralink got some recognition for being a top startup, alongside some recognition for one of Neuralink's leaders, Siobhan Zillis. We have a request for help with an ALS study, and then we'll close with some Neuralink metrics. At the end of September, Elon spoke at an Italian tech conference. He was asked about Neuralink and gave this answer. Some of it will be repeat for former viewers, but I decided to keep in some context for the new viewers. Neuralink will attempt to solve a number of uh, brain injuries and, and brain diseases. Uh, so our first application, for example, is to enable uh, someone who is um, a quadriplegic or tetraplegic to be able to control their computer or their phone just by thinking. Um, and we've already demonstrated this actually with a monkey that can play video games and use a mouse cursor and click on things on a computer. Um, and so we're very confident this will work and hopefully we'll have our first uh, human trials uh, in the next uh, six months or so. Then right after this, the interviewer asked the other panel member, John Elkin, how he sees the cyborg world. John is the CEO of Exor, a holding company that has ownership stakes in companies like Ferrari, Stellantis, and The Economist. I personally like his answer. John, how do you see the cyborg world? <laughs> well, I, I think that we are in a decade where we're going to see the evolution of our smartphones, which is the first uh, application of being cyborgs uh, change. And how, how will that object evolve? Uh, you could argue that it's going to be with, you know, we have all these glasses that are going to allow us to use AR and VR technologies, or as an extension of what Neuralink is doing, we could actually ourselves uh, be, be enabled with technology. The next evolution of the smartphone is going to reach the market eventually, whether it's wearable devices like Fitbits, Snap's Spectacles, or Facebook's Oculus Quest 2, or implanted brain machine interfaces. The future where our brain is immersed in a virtual world is inevitable. As a human race, we are already spending countless hours online. Plus, when was the last time Apple released a new iPhone feature? It's time for something completely different. Seeing that this is where the industry is headed, how could tech giants like Facebook, Apple, or Google afford not to work on virtual reality and brain-machine interface projects? Facebook appears to be the tech giant leaning most into the virtual reality space. The company has worked on various VR initiatives in the past. It's been several years since they acquired Oculus VR in 2014, but the space is starting to heat back up and it looks like Facebook is starting to prepare for their next major step as a company. Last month, the chief technology officer, or CTO of Facebook, Mike Schrofer, announced that the VP of Facebook Reality Labs, Andrew Bosworth, will be taking over as CTO in 2022. Prior to that, developments with Portal, Oculus, and Ray-Ban Stories all demonstrated more progress. Rewind even further back to July 2021, where Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO and founder of Facebook, stated this on the Vergecast podcast. I think all of these different initiatives that we have at, at Facebook today, I think will basically ladder up um, together uh, to, to contribute to helping to build this, this metaverse vision. You know, my hope if we do this well, I think over the next five years or so in this next chapter of our company, you know, I think we'll, we will, I think effectively transition from you know, people seeing us as primarily being a, a social media uh, company to being a metaverse company. If you're interested in a more detailed video about Facebook's ambitions, please consider subscribing to our channel as we'll probably be releasing it during the last week of October. First, Neuralink's recruiting leader, Mike Rubino, posted this on LinkedIn. The team is looking for a director of software engineering. If you or someone you know might be qualified for the position, I encourage applying to the link in the description. 
The second is a position posted by Siobhan Zillis. I personally believe this would be among the coolest positions that a young, motivated engineering graduate could have. You'd probably work on constantly changing projects and need to be very dedicated, but the upside of having the cool experiences working with a great team would be life-altering. Take a look if you think that that's you. A few days ago, she also posted this on Twitter. It says, quote, I really do think even 100 to 200 well-focused engineering minds could accelerate progress in this field by a decade. It's just often not intuitive to a software engineer or chip designer just how much they can contribute to furthering the field. Speaking of Siobhan, she was recently recognized by AI Magazine as one of the top 10 women leaders in AI. Neuralink also received some recognition on a LinkedIn list of top US startup companies. Congrats to both Siobhan and Neuralink for their recognition. I suspect that there will be more to come in the future. Next, there's a study being conducted by a nonprofit organization named Everything ALS. They're trying to detect ALS symptoms by just listening to and watching people speak. The team currently has around 750 participants in the study and only need 250 more to get to the goal of 1,000. Although almost anyone can participate, the team is mostly in need of males who don't have ALS to serve as a control group for the study. I've been participating and would like to encourage you all to help out. The time commitment is approximately 15 minutes a week for a year. To participate, go to www.everythingals.org slash research or click the link in the description. Okay, quick interjection here. Keep an eye out for the launch of our new cartoon series, Neuropod Tune. We're pretty excited about how things are progressing, but we could still use some help. Specifically, if you believe you can impersonate Elon Musk's voice well, please upload a clip of your recording to YouTube and then send the link to neuropod at gmail.com. Back to Neuralink, the Neuralink employee count shown on LinkedIn is now above the recent dip. Last I saw, the team is comprised of 190 employees. For some context, take a look at this tweet from Elon a couple months ago. Sam asks, how many people work for your companies worldwide now? And Elon said, around 110,000. By my estimation, Tesla is about to reach the 100,000 employee mark within the next four months, and SpaceX is likely around 15,000. Regardless, Neuralink is a fraction of their size. And although it's comparing mushrooms to broccoli, it's possible that Neuralink will have north of 10,000 employees in the future. These last two charts are interesting just because it shows that LinkedIn and Twitter's algorithms for recommending pages to follow are quite different. Lastly, in that initial interview with Elon, he discussed what might happen if you could use a Neuralink to communicate with your dog. It's funny to think about the long-term possibilities once Neuralink is more mature. But I think you could uh, you could communicate with your dog, I suppose. Um, although I think I think I know what my dog would want. Um, <laughs> you know, it only wants like about four different things. <laughs> it's like food, water, go outside, you know, and be petted. Um, but maybe there's more to it than that. Maybe there's a secret life of dogs that we just don't know that exists. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in helping us grow Neuropod please go to www.patreon.com slash neuropod or clicking the join button below the video. Your support helps us increase the quantity and quality of our videos. Thanks again.